Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. I'm Ginger and uh, glad to have you today. Uh, we have we are going to be making uh, some freezer meals actually just some freezer biscuits uh, with eggs and sausage on them and for Larry for next week so I thought I would bring you guys along. Let's go. We have our bowl. I'm going to use this is the best flour uh, my grandma used this. It's white lily, self-rising. I'm going to use two cups of this. Okay, I'm using about a fourth of a cup of lard that I have made. You can use shortening. Or butter, just whichever you prefer. And I'm going to use my pastry cutter and I'm just going to work this into my flour. And it might look like it's going to get a bit stuck. And what we're trying to do is just get kind of a crumbly mixture. And now I'm going to use about three-fourths cup of buttermilk. And we're just going to pour this in. We'll do a little bit at a time. Okay, now this is not my typical um, recipe. I don't really go by a recipe. The reason I am doing this today, uh, going by a recipe, is because I am going to cut these out and put them in the freezer. But something that I have never done <clears throat> is try to make, um, layers in my biscuits and so I have went by a recipe today and I'm going to layer these a little bit and I'm going to show you how to do that and they may turn out really hard who knows <clears throat> this dough to my board Set that aside.
And now I'm just going to press this out. <clears throat> and I <clears throat> have a biscuit cutter, but I like my biscuits a little bit bigger, so I'm going to use this glass. And there we go. And we're going to set it on the wax paper. And my grandkids are always asking me, Nana, where is the little biscuit? Right here she is. We're going to make two of them today. And this is all you do. You stick them in the freezer and let them get really good and hard. And you can put them into a Ziploc bag, or you can actually uh, put them into a bag and seal them. Just whichever one you would like to do. Um, it's just very simple. Instead of freezing these right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bake them, and I'm going to make um, biscuits to put into the freezer and we will uh, put those in a bag and we'll be able to like pull one out and pop it in the microwave for a minute. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do with these. sausage out on a pan and I'm gonna let this cool um, the easiest way that I know to do an egg is to get a bowl and I will show you this here in just a second um, spray it put the egg in it bust the yolk put it in the microwave for a minute it makes a wonderful quick sandwich and so um, this one's getting ready to come out That's a perfect 
little egg and I'm gonna lay it right there to cool off we're gonna do one more we're gonna make sure that yolk is busted and I will stick this in the microwave for a minute. I don't put salt and pepper on this. My, my sausage has everything that I need on it. So yeah, that's it. We're gonna get this full and get my biscuits out and then I will bring you back. I have my biscuits ready. I have, <clears throat> actually I've already done one. I vacuum sealed one. Um, it has the egg and the sausage on it. I've got one more here with the egg and the sausage. And we're going to put it into a food saver bag. This is the quart size. And I'm just going to stick this in here. get the air out There you go. Now I have breakfast already made for Larry when he heads out the door come next week. Okay, that's it for me today. I really appreciate you hanging with me and I will see y'all on the next video.